Hello my fellow science hustlers. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to extract nuclei from plant material for analysis under flow cytometry. You're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need this, and you will also need Galbraith's buffer. You can pause right now to see the ingredient list, and you also need cell strainers. Besides that, we're good to go. To begin this process, we will want to keep everything as cold as possible. If you have access to a walk-in cold room, use that. Otherwise, you can use a bed of ice and petri dishes you stuck in the freezer. We will chop for one minute, any more time, and the nuclei may be damaged, according to Galbraith. We will be using a 1 to 4 ratio of plant material to Galbraith's buffer. This gives us the best results. As you can see, this process is pretty simple. Once you chop it up, you dry it with a cut pipette zip. You filter it through the cheesecloth, you wash the petri dish with your other half a buffer, and you dry it up again through a cheesecloth, and then this final homogenate in the falcon tube, you filter it through the cell strainer. To view under the microscope, use a 101 ratio of nuclei solution to dye. 2.5 microliters is good enough. I use Cytox Green because mounting Dappy wasn't giving me anything. You could try it out however, maybe it'd be different for you. Finally, we're at the last step, the flow cytometer. We're going to want a concentration of 2 micrograms per mil of Dappy in our solution. You'll have to calculate that with this equation. This is our reference sample. Our reference sample is diploid, so we should see two distinct populations the first peak being 2C, the second peak being 4C. These are the voltages I use for the Tune NXT. We actually have somebody that's trying to do that. That actually looks really good. Um, yes. And finally, that brings us to the end of our video. One last thing I'd like to add is that nuclei do not last in the buffer. You want to analyze these immediately. Um, you want to extract the nuclei a couple hours before you head to the flow cytometer. Uh, I think that was one of the errors I came up with. So, yeah, keep that in mind. And besides that, um, I'll put all the materials in the description, all the papers I used. And I'll put my email. Um, if you need help, you have you need a troubleshoot, I'll be more than happy to help. I hope you guys can extract nuclei successfully and have a good one.